In the summer of 2016, Copenhagen Suborbital launched the Nexio 1 rocket. The Nexio 1 was our most advanced rocket to date and the first flight to feature a bioliquid engine using ethanol and liquid oxygen as fuel. Even though we didn't reach the intended altitude with the Nexio rocket, we learned a lot from the launch. One of the things we learned was the importance of being able to measure the exact amount of liquid oxygen in the tank. The results of the Nexo 1 mission showed us that we had to completely redesign the way we handle the measurement of liquid oxygen. Therefore, for the Nexo 2 mission we have introduced a completely new system. On the next mission, we measured the amount of liquid oxygen in the tank by weighing the entire rocket. During this winter, we have developed and tested a capacitive level sensor that are meant to be implemented in the Nexo 2 flight tank. This gives us a huge advantage on the Nexo 2 flight because we are actually able to measure the level of oxygen in the tank much more precise than we did on the Nexo 1 flight. The sensor is designed by Emil Müller and Peter Meinke and this little video here shows Peter Meinke actually assembling the prototype that we tested on our test stand for the BPM5 engine. As always, we test our flight hardware in the test stand. The BPM-5 test setup contains the exact same subsystems as we have in the rocket. Here you can see Peter Meinke installing the capacitive sensor in the liquid oxygen tank. The sensor measures the level of liquid oxygen in the tank, both in the fueling process and during the burn. The new sensor was tested in three consecutive 30 second burns to qualify its results and it performed beautifully. Right before the LOX hits uh, the LOX level meter starts measuring uh, the LOX, uh, you can see that the top of the liquid is boiling and it starts hitting uh, the sensor and that generates a little bit of jitter on, uh, on the graph and then it starts ramping up again with a little bit of noise on it but then it steadily just settles for a nice straight curve going uh, going uh, upwards uh, filling the, la the tank at a constant pace you see that's uh, the pre jitter and then you have the jitter and then it settles and just basically straight line filling uh, the, the tank The beautiful pictures you see here is the last qualification burn of the BPM-5 engine intended for the Nexo 2 rocket. The engine performed as expected and so did all the measuring systems, so we are now ready to install the engine in the Nexo 2 rocket that will fly this summer. Stay tuned.